Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Fire Emblem Engage. Last episode, we lost all of our emblem rings. Uh, the least surprising reveal ever, as Evil Cloak Girl turns out to be Vale. Uh, evil Demon Dragon Chick and her entourage of freaks have showed up uh, and have us flanked from behind. And the Fell Dragon in full dragon form is confronting us uh, behind the line of our corrupted emblem heroes how, how we don't all die here i don't know i guess we're about to find out how did we escape how the game completely glossed over how we escaped. You have nowhere to run, and no rings to protect you. At last, I can unleash the full force of my hatred. Please tell me someone picked up Lin. You and all your allies will be killed by your beloved friends, the emblems. We have to fight. We have to rescue Marth and the others. No, Divine One. Vale has the time crystal and the rings. We're not going to win this one. I don't have to tell you how powerful the emblems are, but we can at least survive this thing. If we make it over there, we might be able to shake off Vale. So is Vale the one who actually has the rings then? Oh wow, she has three revival gems and she's level 25. I'm wondering if we can actually turn back and fight our way through these enemies. It doesn't look intended. <laughs> it doesn't look like we're supposed to be able to do that. Truly Mighty Dark Magic. Magic Attack 42. It definitely doesn't look like I'm supposed to be able to go back and win. Victory is if I escape. Okay. Escape to the south, I assume. Yeah, one of these two spaces. Okay, so we have to cut our way through a hammer, which is an axe type, sword, monk, mage, axe, lance, okay, a variety, and we don't have our emblems, so that's going to be an obstacle, but we can at least equip some of these bond rings in the meantime. Uh, what are the best ones I've got? Faye, oh wow. Oh, never mind, never mind. I was looking at it wrong. Okay, she's just magic plus one and luck plus one. Obviously for myself, I'm going to want something that boosts strength. Uh, sure, Quan B. I have no idea who this guy is, but he gives me reasonable bonuses. Okay, uh, Fram... I would increase her hit points. Alright, you get to Barn B, I guess. Diamant. Oh wow, Wolte is pretty darn good. Actually, let's give Wolte to Fram. There we go. And Diamant can have the Tabarm B. Saline. Can have Sarah S. 
Yes, that looks like it'll be good. Lapis. Geez, do I have anyone else who increases strength? I like attack power, okay. <laughs> Legion. The Legion's already attached to... Who is that? Somebody. Uh, I'll tell you what, you get Conrad B. Dex and defense won't be bad either. And Yunaka. Uh, sure, take Leanne B. Now, who to deploy? I have not used Vander in an age. I should deploy Vander, I think. Oh, I can't change the units. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Right, Fram cannot uh, engage, so she doesn't have her super speed. Oof. Let's make do with this formation, I suppose. Avoid minus 30 in the groundwater or the puddles, so don't do that. Whatever you say. Here goes. Can't quite one shot that guy. I'm prepared. Okay, so I think what I'll do. I'll park myself here. Let Lapis weaken him up. She'll take 19 damage. That's not nothing. Maybe that's not the right Whatever play. You say. Oh, and it just occurred to me. I also cannot... Right, because she has a time crystal. I also can't roll time back. So let's keep that in mind as well. Scatter like kettle. Yeah, yeah. Nice crit. Beautifully done. Oh, hang on there. I want to use that or the blade. 100% hit chance either way. Let's use the blade. Oh, good lord. That was a, that was a terrible decision on my part. That was really stupid. There's a ring. Now's our chance. Oh, they are dropping the rings. Okay, so we can just reclaim all the rings right here. It'll be fine. But the only reason I escaped Lapis taking unnecessary damage there was luck. Was a great dodge on Lapis's part. I think not. Oh, Veil. never mind. <laughs> I so enjoy your flailing. On oh, here for just a second, I thought all I had to do was defeat the enemies that have rings, and I could reclaim them. I'm all set. That was pretty mean, game. You deliberately gave me hope for a moment, only to take it away. I'm listening. Let's go. Very well. Your orders, please. Well, this is some sad music. Yes. Was that warp Go Ragnarok? Soldiers. Kill their every last shred of hope. 
Oh wow, did the uh, ring that I... Yeah, Roy is now, has now been assigned to another one. What if I killed, like, every single enemy and she runs out of enemies to reassign the rings to? Would that do anything? Boy, this is quite the battle. Hmm. There we go. Pretty weak. Yeah, this is a very interesting setup. I had to stop you. This game does have some twists I don't see coming. I did not anticipate that the enemy was just going to steal all of my rings like this. It's pretty cool, actually. You really saved my skin. Okay, you can take that guy out. <laughs> nice dodge. I will not forget your loss. Yeah, despite its flaws, and it has some real flaws, not really around the gameplay, more around the characterization for the most part. And sometimes the tone, it seems excessively childish. But despite that, I'm feeling pretty rewarded playing this game from the last couple of scenes. They've been pretty darn cool. Pretty on point. Do not put Chloe in range of the archers. I still want to know if anybody had the uh, the brains to pick up Lin's ring. And maybe Hortensia will join up with us and we can get... Uh, I'm forgetting the canon name of the player avatar from Three Houses, but, you know, that guy, the teacher... Micaiah apparently has a pretty awesome ability that I was not making use of. The range on that is insane. What the? They are... Unbelievable. Oh no. This is so embarrassing. I'm gonna pull out and get back to my training. It's all my fault, Etienne. It was my poor strategizing. In my defense, this seems like a pretty hard mission. Oh boy, okay. What's our next play? Now that guy actually legitimately can't attack back because he's an archer who's not using a point-blank bow, so using the blade will be fine. Who's next? Uh, 
All right, Louis, keep leading the way to tank for us. I wonder if I should turn back and take out some of these enemies behind. I should probably lure them farther away from the Wyrms, because those things look pretty nasty. And they're level 23. Which seems pretty beyond what my team is supposed to be capable of handling. Especially with all our emblems taken away. They sure are hounding me. Alright. I'm not going to put up with this continuous uh, pursuit. Get wrecked. <laughs> Strength up, speed up, resistance up, hit points up, pretty good level. Boing. Alright, now. We've lured that guy pretty far away from the others. Can I turn back and take him down? Fram could do a number on him. I don't think anybody can get in range to support her is the problem. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I think we might be able to take this guy out. Get off my back. He survives with one hit point. That's infuriating. 15 damage back, too. That is so aggravating. One hit point. Damn it. Nothing I can do either. Well, I'm kind of committed now. I may lose Fram, but no permadeath, so whatever. Oh, she dodged it. Oh, right, the hit chance was only 24%. I keep forgetting, Fram is a dodge tank. I should have paid attention to the hit percent, and I would have known that was likely to go in my favor. Or I mean, yeah, it's all according to plan. I'm gonna go back and, I should have done this from the start, actually, provide them support. I guess it's kinda late for that now. Missed out on a couple support levels, and I can't, eh, rewind the time. Oh well, that was just a screw up on my part. All right. Uh, hmm. Where to? Park yourself here. At least get a support level with Lapis. And then one with Louie. Apologies. Oh, I don't think that was an ability of Micaiah's. I think that's a special staff with insane range. I think that's what's going on there. And it breaks the target so they can't counterattack. That's pretty vicious.
Yeah, that's quite vicious indeed. I'm sorry. Nice job, Chloe. Boing. Okay. Next, we've got a monk to deal with. I can get in range of him. Lapis cannot. So Lapis, go here. Actually, I'll go... Hmm, let's see. There we go. Dream well. That was a cool looking little fight. Okay, Fram cannot get all that far here. Well, they helped uh, ease up the pursuit a little bit. My resolve is unchanged. Don't worry, Fram's gonna heal you up. <laughs> what a joyous feeling! Kind of saw that coming. Hopefully I'm not about to lose Chloe again. Okay, some more kills for the rear guard, perhaps. Yeah, maybe time for Chloe to get her revenge. Is it go time? It might be go time. You would take a retaliatory hit though. But that's fine. Oh, no. No you won't because Right, because of the break. Good grief. I need to remember the flipping game mechanics, man. My will is firm. Hmm. Okay. Would not be a finishing blow. What about... Fram? Almost. Almost. I basically have the option of together they take this guy out, or I could have one of them heal Chloe. Uh, maybe I'll take that guy out. That seems like it might be the better option. Sad that the two of them don't get support levels, because I think they could have a pretty hilarious uh, set of support conversations. It's decided. We're almost there, here at the front. We've got like four enemies left in our way. Five if you count this guy. He's probably going to try to flank us. Alright, the two of us, meaning me and uh, Lapis, would have type advantage on this axe fighter. Also, I should have Lapis use a vulnerary. I was going to get her healed up, but I sent both my healers behind to cover our retreat. All right, and Diamond too. Like the whole team has type advantage over that guy. Not Louis, of course. So let's park Louis here. Yeah. 
Nice dodge. Oh, a critical. Nice. Good job, Diamant. Oh, another nice dodge. Fram is such a dodge tank. It's awesome. The corrupted alone aren't enough. Uh oh. Hounds, take care of these pests. Uh oh, she's sending forth the worms. No, oh, right, no, those are the hounds. It's the freak show. I understand what must be done. <laughs> Which of those morons is going to be my first victim? Now that is the face of a real psycho. Orders are orders. I just hope the other side gets a few good slices on me. Marnie and Gris seem like the two biggest freaks, which is saying a lot. Also, this guy appears to be some kind of freakish masochist. We won't let them escape, Lady Vale. You have my word. More enemies are coming. We cannot allow them to slow us down. Ah, curses. They're cutting us off. How can we endure this? The Divine Dragon's forces. Good. I was afraid we wouldn't catch them in time. Joining the team, Ivy? It does not look so good to me. They are being chased. And they have no emblems. We had best get them these rings. Oh. I am back, Princess Ivy. Zokov? How did you fare? I was unable to recover the stolen rings from the dragon girl. But did you get Lin? But I did get this. Oh, did he get the time crystal? Oh, pretty crystal. Perhaps these gifts will be enough to get them out of this bind. Let's hope so. Hello, Divine One. Princess Ivy! Why are you here? I wanted to try one last time to change my father's mind. I was too late. But I did retrieve these rings from Destinia Cathedral. There we go. You got two rings? It's, uh, the teacher and Lynn, I think. Yes, here they are. The ring of the Lady of the Plains and the ring of the Princess Exalt. Are you sure about this? Turning against your own country? Right now, turning against Delusia is the only way to save it. For my kingdom, for my father. This is the only course of action. I know this isn't enough to atone for all I've done, but... Will you let me join your side? Well, considering that it helps even the odds a lot, sure. Of course I will. Thank you. The ring of the Lady of the Plains belongs with you, since it was entrusted to Illusion. Uh, no, I'm gonna be taking that at the first opportunity. Sweep across, emblem of blazing. Lynn is best girl. <laughs> I'm Lindis. Just call me Lynn. Ready to turn this battle around? Lynn is best girl of all Fire Emblem. I will hear no objections. She pretty much, as far as I can tell, kind of seems to be consensus fan favorite. At least she has a lot of fans. And I often disagree with fan consensus, but this is one of those rare occasions where I actually agree with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. Excellent. Reignite us. Emblem of awakening. Awakening. Ah, it is Crom's daughter. I'll finally remember her name now. Marth? No, that can't be right. She doesn't look anything like Marth. <laughs> it is I, Lucina. Lucina, that was it. There was no way I was going to remember that on my own. Lucina! I may not be the Hero King, 
then I cannot replace him. But I can aid you. I strive to be a light in the dark, a light for all who have fallen to despair. For now we may only escape, but as long as we survive, hope will abide. Now, engage with me. Uh, how very forward of you. <laughs> Thrives when fighting near her allies. Dual strike empowers the user to take part in chain attacks regardless of unit type. Noble Rapier deals bonus to cavalry and armor. Bonded Shield creates a high chance of nullifying attacks against adjacent allies. All for one inspires all allies within two spaces to take part in a chain attack. So lots of stuff about chain attacks and increasing defenses of nearby allies. I have one more gift for you, Divine. So we didn't get the teacher after all. The Draconic Time Crystal. How did you get right, it? Right, because that's still with Hortensia, and she hasn't joined us yet. She's probably going to at some point. I borrowed it. While it is not one of the stolen rings. Maybe pretty soon, because she seemed to be pretty cheesed off at Vale for uh laughing as the fell dragon devoured her dad, so yeah, I'm expecting Hortensia to probably join us pretty soon. Perhaps it will help. Thank you. Okay, yep, we got the time crystal back. We have Lynn. She's not linked to us, but she will be after this fight. And no offense, Lucina, I have nothing against you, but I'm going to be giving you to somebody else. Maybe Lapis, since Lapis has lost Leaf. Which is a shame, because Leaf was pretty cool. Alright, you guys just continue racking up kills and guarding our rear. Oh, type disadvantage, that's no bueno. Finish this guy, then. I'm sorry. All flowers eventually wilt. All right, since you actually have a free moment, go ahead and heal up Chloe. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I kind of want to take a look at the stats on these hounds. Level 23, level three, so it must be a promoted class, otherwise that wouldn't make any sense. A sage. Experienced mages who can call upon great power can use both tomes and staves. Seriously, what a freak show that team is. Zephia is a melusine, whatever the heck that is. An alluring, quote unquote, if you say so, game. Not really my type, but... Magic Knight who rides an evil dragon, overpowers with highly honed magic and sword skills. Mavir, a royal knight. Suddenly feel like I'm playing Langrisser. As a flame lance. And the creepiest one of all, the obvious serial killer Marnie. As a hurricane axe. And yeah, they look like they would... Uh, be challenging to deal with, though we might be able to handle them. Okay, so Zelkov is on our team now, along with Ivy and, uh, and Kagetsu. Cool. Oh, wow. Many decisions to be made. Alright, Louis, I guess take out this guy. I'm here. Yes, fine work. <laughs> Louis just stood and watched. Acceptable level up. His strength is already pretty high, so it's not the end of the world if he doesn't always get a strength up. Lance Fighter. And she has L Fire. All right, you. you two start showing me what you can do. I might as well engage. 
emblem engage okay I actually like uh engage mode Ivy a lot less weird hard to understand goth fashion going on could hit that guy with a killer bow using Astra storm could get close and uh, she doesn't have Mani Kati, it doesn't appear. Elfire would take him out. Uh, maybe take him out with Elfire from right here. Because, yeah, the Astra Storm doesn't seem like it would actually deal the finishing blow. Can also call doubles, but uh, let's just take this guy out with Elfire for now. Yes. Yeah, take this guy down. But first, let's bring in Get Kagetsu. Kagetsu seems kind of cool. Not that I really know anything about him yet, but he gives me a good first impression. Such ephemeral life. Anytime. Sure, I'll go ahead and engage with Lucina. Emblem engage. May prevent first attacks on adjacent allies. Trigger percent equals 90. Okay, sure. Why not? Not a worry. Oh boy, the Wyrms are coming forward as well. A good fight. Not much of a level there. Alright, so adjacent allies can get pulled into chain attacks while we're with Lucina, right? Used to make a sword attack. All allies within two spaces chain attack. And ally chain attacks are guaranteed to hit, but that looks like it's a effect exclusive to dragons. So for now, us. Fascinating. Okay, let's get some allies within two spaces of the sun. Let's go ahead and use Lin's killer bow. Wait, that has a hit chance of 90, and it takes two hits to deal the kill. Uh, so let's use Elfire instead, right? Yes, Elfire is definitely better. Ooh, a crit. Nice. Ooh, another Master Seal. We're getting quite a few of those. I could just escape right now, but I want to farm a little more XP. I don't think I want my rear guard facing that oncoming Death Blob. Say the word. The word is run. Run like hell. Take the kill. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh. Why did I think that you had that? I don't know why I thought she had that. I obviously was just not paying attention. And just completely misread the battle prediction, so that was pretty stupid. Alright, it's been a while, Boosh. You, you get to pick up a kill. I hope you find peace. We have an anti-cavalier uh, ability in Lucina, I do believe it said. So, let's make use of that. All for one, noble rapier. Get wrecked. I will never give up! I'll help. But that actually wasn't quite enough. Unfortunate. However, I think Kagetsu can claim the kill then. With his high crit rate low dao. 100% chance hit any. Oh, the chain attack will kill, actually. I'll go first. Okay, unless it misses. I am sorry. Whoa, somebody's fast. Oh, that was so cool looking. Oh, that was awesome. Unfortunate. I like the way Kagetsu fights. That was really cool looking. Okay. So I'm about to win the map, but... Can I take Marnie? If my rear guard can take her out, they absolutely will and claim the kill. Can do fair damage to her. With the fire. How about Chloe? Absolutely nothing, apparently. Oh, she also has two revival gems. Apparently the only one who can lay a finger on her for some reason is uh, Saline. So let's just not mess with that. Uh, let's just take the win. Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here. That will unlock some things, too, like the Tower of Trials I know was waiting for Chapter 11. This way. We can travel to Solm through this forest. And the next level of exercises. I hate to abandon Hortensia. But staying in the kingdom is not an option. There's too much we're leaving behind. <sighs> Father. It's painful. But we can't turn back. We'd lose everything. I will lead the way. <sighs> I failed you, Marth. I failed you all. Yeah, that went badly, but we got... So... Ivy was scheming against us. But we got Lynn and Lucina, so, you know, could have been worse. She stole two emblems from right under my nose. Sure did, idiot. How irksome. Regardless, the advantage is mine. I have all of the rings they gathered. You shall all be destroyed. I will gut your allies burn down your countries your evil side is pretty messed up Vale. and crush your spirits like no redeeming qualities of any kind really just pure evil we should be safe now Vale is sombron's daughter yeah, how did you not see this coming i called it i saw it coming a mile away me and now she has our emblem rings 
I'm sorry, everyone. I should never have brought us to the cathedral. It's not your fault, Divine One. I should apologize. I asked you to let me fight. I was so angry about what they'd done. Let's all recriminate ourselves. What about me? I'm the one who wanted to return Father to Brody. No, it's my fault. It's mine. That was illogical. Excuse me? If you hadn't gotten in the way... Calm down, everyone. We're on the same side. No, we're not. If not for her, we might have made it in time. We might have saved him. Oh, Christ. Princess Ivy told us about the ritual in the first place. Without her help, Father would still be one of those creatures. Diamant? She helped kill our father. Why are you making excuses for her? Princess Ivy's not to blame. Her father was. And the fell dragon murdered him. There wasn't even a body left behind. <sighs> Arguing won't get us anywhere. Apologies, Divine One. Princess Ivy, I hope you'll forgive my brother. He spoke out of turn. No, it's all right. I am sorry that I couldn't stop the ritual. I just... I can't bear the thought that I'll never see him again. And the ring he spent his whole life protecting. Gone. Don't worry, we'll get it back. We have suffered loss after loss. Well, I mean, we suffered one loss. It was a catastrophic loss, but we've won literally every other battle. Well, okay, we suffered two catastrophic losses. That one and, uh, when our mother got killed. But the emblems aren't dead. We can still get them back. And we will. Lumera, right, that was I her name. I know we will. To find one. You still have emblems on your side. That's right. Don't forget about us. Lynn. Lucina. All is far from lost. We can offer our unique strengths as emblems. You can still challenge your fate. You don't lose by retreating. I wish it didn't come to this. My mother told me that a divine dragon should never run away. We're not running away. As Lucina said, we're retreating. There's a difference. Hmm. Time and again, you've shown true bravery, even in the face of daunting odds. But refusing to move on, that's not bravery, it's folly. There's courage, and there's stubbornness. Lumera would have taught you the difference. Unfortunately, in your short time together, she didn't have the chance. Perhaps that's why Marth said what he did outside the cathedral. Probably so. Now at least, I understand. We're not running away. We're stepping back. Gathering our strength for the next battle. I'm glad that we finally understand that retreating is a valid military strategy. I'll become a better fighter. A better leader. I'll make sure no one, not one more person, loses their life under my command. Oh, that's uh, quite the boast. And I'll bring back our friends, the emblems. What do you say, everyone? Are you with me? I mean, sure, the way we see the battles in-game, it's just a few of us versus a few enemies. But you have to presume, in the actual lore of the game, there's like hundreds of soldiers on each side. You're not gonna protect each and every one of your hundreds or thousands of soldiers from getting killed. It's just not gonna happen. You know I am. Let's turn the tables on them. I won't rest until we reclaim what we've lost. That kind of huge battle with actual large numbers and a lot of regular soldiers fighting is something that the Langrisser series does a much better job of capturing than Fire Emblem does. Even now you have hope. I will stand with you too, Divine One. I will help too, if you'll have me. Reluctantly. Thank you, everyone. Now, to the Queendom of Solm. Stay with me, and I promise to keep you safe. Whew. The game has become awesome the last couple of chapters. Like, the story is legitimately dramatic now. The characters aren't just piles of ridiculous childish silliness. Like, they're actually treating the situation with gravity. Crazy plot twist. Losing all the rings. Morian getting killed. 
and then the fell dragon showing up and like this has been awesome i love the last couple chapters the game's really getting good here now i could end it here this is about a good time to end it but i'm not going to end it here yet i'm actually going to run around here on the somnial and do some stuff uh, do upgrades get caught up with my allies so it's going to be another long video enjoy uh, but if you don't care about the extra stuff on the Somnial and upgrading and messing around with emblems, you can probably just end the video here and join me in the next one. Because the rest of this one is basically going to be logistics and interacting with NPCs and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Good to have you on my side, Lucina. You're pretty cool. I got a pretty pebble. So, did we unlock any um, support conversations? Oh, goodness, did we ever. Okay, this may take a while. Speak to Louis, me, Louie. What are you doing there? Oh, hello, Divine One. I wasn't doing anything of note, really. Merely observing those two over there chatting with one another. Um, okay. And you're doing that... Why? You know, there's a fine line between just casually watching people and straight up spying, Louie. And you skirt awfully close to that line. That is the question, is it not? There are all sorts of philosophical implications to the simple act of asking why. To which I suppose I would respond for edification. So you watch people chat in order to learn things? Precisely. There is deep meaning in these seemingly simple encounters. Through observation, many delightful and subtle details reveal themselves. When one treats them as one would treat a gallery piece, can there possibly be any harm? There, uh... I think maybe the... <laughs> I'm kinda with my avatar here. What's right or wrong goes beyond rules and laws. There's courtesy and decency. If you knew they didn't like being watched, you'd stop, right? But of course, Divine One. I would never elevate my appreciation above their own comfort. Just so we're clear. Well then, I guess I'll leave you to it. Very good, Divine One. I trust that I have eased any concerns you have. Not really. You're still kind of weird, Louie. Like most of my team. Oh, we get to see how the uh, how the bear hunt goes. Okay, this is the area where that ferocious bear was last spotted. Keep your guard up, Fram. The bear could approach from any direction. Really? Uh, okay. The most important thing is to stay calm. Don't make any sudden movements or loud noises. Got it. If the bear gets the drop on me, I'll just play dead. That's the key to survival, right? Also, also it seems to now be official that... Lapis is shorter than Fram. Lapis is tiny. <laughs> That's actually kind of endearing. No, don't play dead. If a bear is threatening you, it's important to stand your ground. I have noticed from my own relationships that for whatever reason, women have this thing about wanting to be tall. But I actually like short girls. I think they're cute. Not, not that anybody cares about my preferences, but there you go. I shared them anyway. Oh. You really do know a lot about bears. I had to learn all of this back in the countryside. Bears used to attack our village all the time. They would trample and uproot our crops, undoing months of hard work. My village never had a lot of food to go around. Attacks like that became a fight for our lives. Wow, Lapis. I had no idea. No wonder you're so strong. I don't want people to know about my country upbringing. Please keep this between us, okay? I hate to break it to you, Lapis, but your country upbringing is kind of super duper obvious. <laughs> and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, by the way. Got it. Your secret is safe with me. I'm learning so much. I can feel myself getting stronger. Uh... Fram, what's wrong? B b b b Fram? Oh. <sighs> Welcome back. You saw the bear and passed out. Uh, the bear! I remember now. Where is it? Are we safe? We're fine. 
I managed to scare it off. Fram, you're such a spaz. Oh no, that's what I wanted to do. I'm sorry, Lapis. I was just so surprised. It's okay. Let's call it a day and head back. We could both use some rest after this. Hmm. I guess I need to try harder. I wasn't really expecting that we would get to see Lapis, like, take out a bear because the cutscene, or the, uh, the support conversations don't really have that level of animation and detail. Uh, but even so, it's still a little disappointing we didn't get to see Lapis take out a bear. One snake sandwich, as requested. Here you go. Thanks. I'm gonna try it right now. How? Huh? <gasps> what a sandwich! The fluffy bread lulls you in, and then crunch! The roasted snake hits you! As I was just saying about the lack of animation, we didn't even get to see her, like, eat an actual sandwich. They couldn't even be bothered with that. <laughs> also, this is so gross. It's a flavor cascade from the first bite! 12 out of 10! I mean, I don't know. For all I know, maybe snake actually tastes really good, but it does not sound tasty to me. Like I've never had snake, as a, as I'm sure is obvious. What the? There's something slightly off about this. Huh? Are you sure this is a snake sandwich? Sure, I'm sure. Look, you can see the roast snake right there, yeah? No, it's close, but it's not snake. I think it's actually... eel? <laughs> I think you're right. I'm so sorry. I remember now. The snake sandwich stall was next to the eel stall! Oh, so you went to the wrong one? Aw, oh, Fram. This is just the kind of screw-up I keep making as steward of the dragon, too. I'm real sorry. Don't worry about it. Even if it's eel and not snake, my rating stands. You know, it's kind of tragic. Fram tries to be reliable, but she just isn't. Here, try for yourself. Okay. Here goes. Also, eel sandwich actually sounds even more disgusting than snake sandwich. What the heck? Has eel always been this good? That's what I'm saying. It's like I'm tasting it for the first time. The true appeal of eel. Oh, that reminds me. I heard about another new food stall opening up soon. If you don't mind, could I ask you to go buy me some more eel dishes? I'm on it. And this time, I'll definitely get your order right. Oh wow, so many support conversations still to go. Ah, I love packages from Mom and Dad. I wonder what this could possibly be. <laughs> As if I don't already know. Ooh, they sent some really good ones this time. These look extra yummy. Mmm. Lapis? What has you cooing and humming? Ah! Citrine! <sighs> you really scared me. Don't sneak up on people in the dark making such a scary face. Should I have worn a mask? I doubt that would have been less frightening. This is just... My face, Lapis. Don't be cruel. Sorry. I didn't mean it. You just really startled me. Oh, what tasty-looking yams. Did you have someone fetch these from the countryside? No, I didn't. They... Uh, I... It looks as if your parents sent them. Does your family own land near a potato farm? I see. So Citrine does not know about uh, Lapis's humble origins. Why do I hesitate before I say Lapis's name every time? It's like my brain has a load time for <laughs> accessing her name. <laughs> It was my understanding that your parents live in town. Is that not the case? Uh, okay. I'll tell you the truth, Citrine. My parents don't live anywhere near town. Oh? My parents, actually my whole family, lives in the countryside, where these taters came from. Is that so? But you've always said that- I lied. I shouldn't have, but I did. Please don't tell anyone else, okay? Again, my experience with relationships is this is also pretty true to life. That, like, a country girl doesn't like the fact that she's from the country. I don't get it myself. I don't see what's wrong with this, but whatever. I won't. 
Of course I won't, but I'm confused. Why would you lie about such a thing? I was trying to make myself seem less, you know, rural. Rural isn't a bad thing. <laughs> it really isn't. I worry about that all the time. Prince Alchrist is royalty. You're part of his extended family. I guess in her defense, if you're around a bunch of highfalutin nobles all the time, I can see where that would increase your level of self-consciousness about it. A bumpkin like me doesn't belong next to such noble company. Lapis, that's not true. It doesn't matter if... It matters to me. I wish my family tree was as impressive as yours, but things are different for me. Oh, Lapis, you and I make a perfect match. Huh? You see your family social standing as your hindrance, while I see lack of strength as mine. Each of us has what the other lacks. <sighs> You're right. Your secret is safe with me. I'll leave you be. I have to begin my midnight training after all. Good night, Lapis. Good night, Citrine. Ma'am, Lapis's inferiority complex is out of control. Diamond. I thought I might find you here. I'm legitimately impressed by these characters' ability to do these ramrod straight squats. I cannot do that. Citrine, I don't remember telling anyone where I was going to be training. Well, I know this is your preferred escape when something is bothering you. That said, I'm usually doing squats while wearing a whole lot of weight, which makes it a little harder to do it ramrod straight. It's much easier if you're not. <laughs> Can't hide from you. Guess I haven't changed much since I was a kid. We used to play in these castle gardens all the time, remember? I would try to play princess, but you always turned it into a game of tag. Of course. Tag makes for good training. So, is this about that letter from the nobles? Indeed. They're eager for a response. I've been sent here to ask you directly about your stance on future military campaigns. These nobles are acquaintances of my family. As a noble myself, I can't ignore their demands. <sighs> Diamond, don't send me back empty-handed. I don't have the energy for tag anymore. War is profitable. The nobility is expecting to line their pockets for years to come. Well, that's pretty real. I, on the other hand, do not intend to wage any wars during my reign as king. Watch out, dude. They'll try to assassinate you. I'm so glad to hear that. The nobles won't like it. You can leave them to me. Sorry to make you the messenger. It's fine. I'll take this over the diplomatic battles you must survive in the royal court any day. Okay, looks like one more to go. Oh boy. How will Lappy, Lapis and Etie get on? I can't even begin to imagine. Hey Lapis, got a minute? Sure, Etie. What do you need? They tell me you can build whatever you want. Is that true? What? How did you hear that? I mean, I guess it's true. With the right materials, I can make all kinds of stuff. Furniture, toys. I even made some instruments for a local concert once. That was really fun. That's amazing. Listen, I need a favor. Would you build me a muscle training device? Like workout equipment? Wow. I've definitely never built anything like that before. For me, bodybuilding is life. Yeah, I've kind of noticed. You're a little one-dimensional that way, Etie. I've tried lots of training methods, but it's getting harder to achieve my goals on my own. Oh, sure. I hate hitting that plateau where you feel like you're not making any progress. Exactly what I'm saying. I knew you'd get it. Which muscles do you want to focus on? Hmm... My arms, chest, core, and my back. That's all I'm looking for. I'd repay you, of course. Anything you want. Think you could do this for me? Yeah. It'll be a challenge, but a fun one. I'll see what I can put together. Great! Oh, this is going to be incredible. That was a lot of support conversations. Whew, okay. Oh, hey, Ivy. Huh. 
Huh. You... You're honestly attractive when you're not wearing that absolutely bizarre thing that you wear in the battle scenes. Thank you. The difference is night and day. Grab some items. Oh, looks like there's someone to talk to right up here. Oh, it's Mr. Edgelord. Ah. Flashy, huh? Well, as long as we're... Oh, this is the records hall, that's right. Horse manure. Okay, as long as we're here... Uh, we might want to check out the next level of um, squat exercise. <laughs> okay, watching Citrine doing sit-ups is amusing to me for some reason. That's right. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> What'll it be? How hard do you want to go? What the heck? It said this would unlock after chapter 11. It lied What'll to it me. It lied. Grr. Oh, cussing. What a beautiful sky. Wyvern ride? What is Wyvern ride? Mm -hmm. Also, Vander in his dapper butler outfit is still awesome. So what the heck yes. is Wyvern ride? Fly through a course while shooting floating targets. Try to hit the special targets and aim for a high score. More courses will unlock as you progress in the story. Huh. Which would you like? What are the controls? Oh, oh, sure, Sami can come. Have a nice flight. What are the controls? Okay, I just hit uh, the right button. Which is A, I believe. Yes, A. Feels a little like I'm playing Panzer Dragoon. Except way easier. Way, way easier. Since nothing's shooting back at me. Oh, okay. Just shoot those and I get all of them. This is a fun little mini game. Did not expect a mini game like this in a Fire Emblem game. Oh wow. Uh. Curses. I didn't get all of them in that one formation. No triple S rank for me.
Just what I'd expect okay. to find one. Never mind. I get triple S after all. Would have thought I'd have to do perfect and get all of them. A simple little game, but it's fun. I'll come back and do it when I unlock a more different, a higher difficulty level. Also, I got a ton of items for it. Yes. I'm guessing hard mode is also not Which unlocked here. Like? Yeah, unlocks Until as the story time. progresses. Well, that was pretty cool. I like that. Was not expecting a crazy rail shooter wyvern riding minigame. Well. Okay, you weirdo. You peeping Tom. You voyeur. Alright. Let's head over to the orchard. Travel to the pool to save a little time. Oh, who's in the pool? Looks like Clan, I think. <sighs> At least you have a reason to be depressed for once. Oh, fine. I'll feed you. Have, uh, have some wheat flour. Okay. It likes wheat flour. And, uh, have an orange. I've got lots of oranges. Its love meter didn't even increase. I will pet you. You shall enjoy the pets. Okay, good enough. Later, you weird thing. Just enjoying the scenery and relaxing after a couple of pretty intense battles. Oh, hey, Anna, fishing. Listen to this. <laughs> I don't remember if it was during the video that got corrupted or not, but I think I unlocked a fishing mini game at one point. I am probably never going to try the fishing mini game. I remember when fishing minigames were all the rage, and every freaking game had a fishing minigame back around the year 2000 and the surrounding years. I never want to play another fishing minigame again. <laughs> you seem well. Listen. Hey, Fram. So great. Uh, here, have a spirit gem. Oh, um. Favored by all. Enjoy. What? Hey, Kagetsu, enjoying the view? Thank you.
That is a nice view up here. Nope. Still can't get support level A with Fram. That seems to take a whole lot of support to get up to level A. Okay, let's go back to the plaza. I feel like I have yet to interact with quite a few of my allies. Are they all here in the cafe or something? Well, there's Yunaka. For that matter, where's Lin? All right, well, let's check the bulletin board and collect all of our achievements. There we go, 2,500 bond fragments. That was worthwhile. Let's get Elusia up to the next level. And that'll probably be it because I only have 21,000 G. So yeah, that's good enough for now. All right. Hey there. Let us order a meal. Dispose of Yunaka's meal, and we will this time get Yunaka's meal. Who to eat with this time? Hmm. The eternal question. Let's bring in Fram. I want to see if I can get Fram up to support level A, so I just don't need to worry about it. At least until S becomes available. Uh, and then who should the other one be? Uh, maybe Saline again. I kind of... They're honestly the two who are kind of in competition for shipping with my poor player avatar here. So let's try to get them up to support level A and then we can focus on others. I'm gonna go off. Okay. Ha! 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 My best dish yet. Hey, I like this. A hearty meal, tastefully presented. All right, that's a pretty good result, despite just being C rank. Hey, I made this for you. Take it before I lose my nerve. All right, and we got a new Yunaka's meal. I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same meal as we made before. Still no A-level support conversation. Okay, um, do do do. Let's head to the arena next. Also, emblem rings. Like I said, Lucina, nothing against you at all. In fact, I quite like you, but. Lynn. Lynn, let's go. Indeed. And Lapis. Or should I give it to Fram? You know, I think that Fram plus Lucina would be pretty funny because Lucina is so serious and Fram is such a space case, such a space cadet. I think the two of them might be pretty funny to pair up. Together. There we go. Let's give Kagetsu a good ring. Because I think I might be using Kagetsu. He seems pretty cool. Um. Alright, I have Conrad B on... Uh... There it is again! Lapis! Why do I always have to think about what her name is? That's crazy! Uh, that's so weird. Um, yeah, have Asbel be. Unless we can find somebody better. Wolt A, perhaps, is actually better. There we go. Okay, that'll do. And now, arena time. Oh, have I unlocked anything in the music box? I have. Sounds kind of Spanish, doesn't it? 
Gives me Spanish vibes. This is more like just a country style strumming on a guitar. And that kind of is as well, but with a classier vibe. Let's go with this one for now. Not that it really matters because the arena has its own music track. All right, now who's lagging? Still Alfred, I imagine. Yeah, let's see if we can get him up to level 10. Alfred has arrived! I am Saline, Princess of Firene. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Thanks for showing me what I still need to work on. Your little sister wrecked your face, Albert. Oh, they have a conversation available. Oh, let's watch it then. So, what kind of relationship do you two have? Do you get along? Do you get on? Good morning, Alfred. Morning, Celine. Training hard again, I see. Though, normally I don't find you using a shovel. That's a deep hole you've dug, too. Won't this be hazardous for the others? <laughs> oh, Celine, this isn't trading. And if anything, I need to dig deeper. What in the world is the purpose of this? I overheard the kitchen staff this morning complaining that there wasn't enough water. So I'm digging a well for them. Pardon? By the way, if I haven't called this out already, the voice acting in this game is very good. Like, it is really good. I have no complaints about the voice acting at all, really. And some of them are especially well done. Saline here, her voice actress hits the, the classy princess vibe just perfectly. It's an amazing job. Alfred, if the water supply is low, there's a river nearby we can fetch more from. What possessed you to decide that the solution to the problem was to dig a well? Hey, you're right! That's using your noggin! I better find a jug and leg it to the river. Thanks for the tip, Saline. So, your relationship is that Albert is a moron, and... <laughs> Saline marvels at what a moron he is. <sighs> you haven't changed one bit, it seems. Better that you should dress in pelts and furs to warn people of your barbaric mindset. That's a pretty good put down, actually. If rationality wins, I'm so going to be pairing up my player avatar with Saline. It's either going to be that or rationality loses and it ends up being Fram. Like, those are the two realistic options. Alright, well, let's keep on training Albert until... We get him to level 10. Today's workout begins now. A training session with you should be interesting. Wow. More experienced warrior, one out. I worked up a pretty good sweat. Considering he had only a one-third chance of dodging those attacks, he did a darn good job with all those dodges and pulling out an unlikely win. Also, we unlocked another support conversation. They just keep coming. Hmm, nice. <sighs> I've said it before, but I really admire those muscles, Boucheron. <sighs> oh, uh, I appreciate the compliment. You can't even see his muscles underneath all the armor and clothes and stuff. Your triceps are especially well developed. Mind if I feel them? They're not even visible! Also, that's a creepy thing to ask. Uh, anything you want, Prince Alfred. Hmm, yes. Incredible stuff. Practically a Fyrenese national treasure. Forearm is perfectly sculpted, too. This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> Wish mine was like that. Are you finished now? Oh, guess I got carried away there. You gotta admit, though, these muscles of yours are something else. 
I can't help but wonder what the secret is to getting beauties like these. He was just born with a man. Nothing special, really. Oh, that's what you always say. There must be some trick to it. Unless you're telling me they're all natural. How is that possible? <clears throat> that's a bit... Uh... A bit what? <gasps> is there something special about this one? No, Prince Alfred. It's just a bit ticklish. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? That... that was weird. Albert, you're weird. Don't make me regret leveling you up, Albert. I'm kind of starting to regret it. I'll give you one more chance. Alfred has arrived! Will you go out with me? Wait, what? 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 Did Kagetsu just ask Albert out? For showing me what? I still what? <laughs> Will you go out with me? <laughs> what? That's not what you ask somebody you're about to kill. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> this game confuses me sometimes. Okay, now this part's important. We need to jumpstart our bonds with our new emblems. So, oh geez, it's only going to cost 400 to get to level 5, and we've got 5,000 bond fragments, so. Let's go, Lin. No holding back. I am Lin of the Lorca tribe. You must be faster. The victory is yours, but I won't lose next time. Somehow I won. Don't go thinking I'm some wishy-washy noble. I'm stronger than I look. I never thought you seemed weak to begin with. I'd be nowhere without you, Lin. Lin's voice actress does a perfectly good job. I have no complaints about her performance. But I would have expected Lin's voice to be not quite that high. Not like super deep or anything, but just slightly deeper than that. So it's not quite what I would have expected. It's not bad, though. I'm not really complaining about it. Alright. How much will it cost us to get up to level 10? 1500. That's getting up there, but I think it'll be worth it. Let's have a good match. I'm Lin. Get ready. Ah! <laughs> Victory is yours, but I won't lose next time. Somehow I won. This is a good world, though it makes me miss the green rolling plains of my home. They sound beautiful. It would be nice if I could see them for myself someday. Also, do planes roll? Isn't it hills that roll? I thought the whole point of planes is that they're flat. Excellent. Okay, next up. Let us jumpstart Fram's bond with Lucina. Probably just to level 5 in this instance, but we'll see. I'm a lot stronger than I look. Lucina, Princess of Elise, has arrived. I lost? Instantly. I, I did it! Wow, Fram. Way to just destroy poor Lucina. Of course, I was doing the same to Lynn. Are you all right? You got so excited you fell right over. It would have been perfect if Lucina just said nothing. If the scene just ended there. That would have been amazing. Poor Fram. She tries so hard. Okay. Now we're off to the ring chamber. Hmm. 
Now we're getting into Fire Emblem games I actually know well, from, between Blazing Blade and Awakening. So, I'm going to make some bond rings from both Lynn and Lucina. And that's why I saved some, uh, some bond points. Alright, Jafar. I remember him. And Hector, of course, because he's one of the three heroes of the game. Him, Lin, and the other guy who I think is Roy's descendant. Nino. Yep, Florina, the androphobic Pegasus Knight. Another Nino. Ah, yes, Sarah, the very soon to ray priestess. <laughs> or maybe soon to ray is not quite the right word, but she was very full of herself, or at least she pretended to be. Dorcas, the bandit with a heart of gold. Ella Wood! That's what his name was. I think I said Elwyn before, didn't I? Because I was thinking of Langrisser for some reason. A lot of Ninos. Uh, this is making me nostalgic. It's making me want to do an LP of Blazing Blade. Alright, no S rank ones this time. Okay, and now let's make 10 from Lucina. Ah, Lisa, the princess. Bit of a ditz, as I remember. Okay, another Lisa. In a go. He fancied himself a ladies' man, if I'm remembering right. Krom, of course. Krom the prince. Father of Lucina. Oh, right, Tharja, the Yandere. The Super Yandere Dark Sorceress. Ah, oh, right, Morgan. That's the canonical name of the player avatar in that game. Oh, Owain, he's the Chunibyo. It's fun getting characters I actually remember and hating that nostalgia vibe. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, focus. Ooh, speed plus three. These are cheap, too. Since they're so cheap, I'll, I'll take them. How many SP do I have? 507? I'm one of these two. Ah, I can get Alacrity and Speed Taker. Maybe I'll save up for those. Although, is that even needed? I'm honestly not intending to ever give up Lin, so... I don't know if I need to even bother inheriting skills that uh, don't stack when, uh, when you're equipped with Lin. That'll do for now. Might as well meld some bond rings.
Okay. I think we're almost done, probably. Is there anything else I need to do? Well, I might want to upgrade some weapons and see if there are new ones for sale. I don't expect that to take too long. Ooh, a killing edge. That's a high crit sword. Oh, right, and let's not forget I have some stat up items. I will take this. Here you go. Killer axe. Yeah, okay, we're getting some killer weapons available now. Oh my gosh, I've already got so many things on, uh, on Boo, she has no room. Um, I could replace the Iron Axe. I know it's upgraded, but then I could just upgrade the Killer Axe. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, well, that's irritating. Couldn't you just automatically unequip it? And equip the new one? Doesn't seem that difficult. There. It is no longer equipped. Well, hey there. Uh, where'd he go? I went right over him, didn't I? Where are you, Bouchron? There he is. Here you go. Thank you. Killer bow for Etta, who's probably in the other direction. Nope. There we go. I already had a killer axe. Damn it, I forgot. Uh, I'll Here you go. I guess I'll hang on to that. Okay, I think we're good. Take care. Oh yeah, what do you say, Lynn, when you're my uh um my emblem? Yes. Oh, hey Saline. Saline, that is just a waterfall of hair. Like, a person could literally suffocate in that hair. Good day. How is it even possible to have that much hair? I have a pretty pebble. Thank you. Nope. Didn't think so. I guess I should see if new outfits have become available from uh, the new kingdom. Um, emerald set, okay. Spruce, wild, sundew. Okay, nothing. Uh, Be well. Nothing too amazing. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's upgrade my killing edge to at least a plus two. Hmm. And. That new killer axe I got. Oh my gosh. Amber has had a killer lance this entire time. I should give that to uh, Alfred. Albert. 
Gosh, I've stopped calling him by the wrong name and started calling him by the right name. That's not what I want to do. Hmm. Alright, that's good enough for now, because I still don't have that much in the way of crafting materials. Okay, let's uh, inventory... Uh, trade with Amber. Take his killer lance. There we go. Geez, should have done that a long time ago, but I just didn't think about it. I've been pretty mean to Amber, just pretending he doesn't even exist, but he did not make a good first impression with that childish horsey nonsense. It, it was a very bad first impression. <laughs> Honestly, though... Maybe I should use him over Albert here. I'll consider it. And if that's the case, then maybe I should give him his killer lance back after all. I'll think about it. I mean, it's not like Albert has an amazing personality either, now is it? Uh, okay. Right, I was also going to use my stat up items. One of them was strength up. Who should I give that to? My strength is in an okay place. Frams is low. I'm just going through my main fighters here. Louis doesn't have any issues. No, 17 is huge. Diamant is doing okay. Uh, doesn't really need help. Ditto for Boosh. Lapis is also fine. Chloe's doing okay as well. Nobody's really lagging super far behind in terms of my frontline fighters. Yeah. In which case, I think I will give it to Fram. Because it amuses me greatly that she's actually a killing machine. Oh, um... Honestly, I never really used the Initiate art, so... Oh right, and there's Defense Plus 2 as well. Perfect. Go ahead and use that. Excellent. And Defense Plus 2. Which of my main fighters is lacking defense? Okay, Fram, again, is very low in that. Honestly, it's not just frontline fighters I should consider here, though, but everybody. Okay, Citrine has, like, no defense whatsoever. Saline's not doing too bad for a magic user. What about Clan? Or even his Clan? Here he is. Uh, his defense is pretty pathetic as well. I think I'm going to give it to Fram, though, because in an ideal world, Citrine doesn't get attacked much. Whereas I do tend to send Fram into the fray quite a bit. So, here we go. I hope you're grateful for all the beefing up of you I do, Fram. And I think my other one was a resistance up, right? No, magic up. Okay. So among my major magic attackers, who needs that the most? Citrine's at uh, 18. Saline, oh wow, only 15. That's kind of surprising. And Clan is... Wow, why do I have so much trouble seeing Clan? There he is. 14. I think I'm going to give it to Saline. I thought her magic... Would have been a little higher. Not that it's bad by any means, but uh, let's make it even better. And then we'll give her back the freeze, I reckon. There we go. And yeah, take, take that freeze back now. Perfect. Okay, whew. Are we actually almost done? This has, this has been a long one, but... I did say at the at the beginning of this whole segment that this is what it was going to be. So if uh, if you're still sticking around, it's because you want to be here. Oh, is that Yunaka in a swimsuit? 
<laughs> oh, and there's that TA. Seriously, she's a weed. What muscles? There are none. <laughs> I just... Oh. These muscles exist only in your mind, TA. They're only in your mind. <laughs> I can't get over it. Oh. Hey, Citrine. She's just napping. Okay, there's one last thing I'm going to check, but if it's available, which I don't think it is, then I'll do it next video. But let's see if the Tower of Trials is actually open now. Probably not, because the... Uh, the next difficulty level of exercises is not yet available, even though the game said it would be after Chapter 11. So this will probably be closed too. Okay, this actually is available now. Which means we're saving this for the next episode, because holy crap, this episode is almost two hours long. I hope you enjoyed this ridiculously long extra special episode of Fire Emblem Engage. Next time, we check out the Tempest Trials. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I will see you then.